From a distance, you may think that the new CBR300R is just a punched out CBR250. But upon closer inspection, you'll be pleasantly surprised to discover that this CBR more closely resembles its bigger brother, the CBR500R. I mean, sure, the new 300 uses the same chassis as the 250, but notice how the new redesigned bodywork now includes a dual headlight, just like the new CBR500R. Then, underneath that bodywork, a new crankshaft, connecting rod, and piston have yielded 37 cc's more displacement, pumping up the liquid-cooled, fuel-injected, dual-overhead cam four-valve single by 17% in the horsepower department. It also definitely feels stronger in the torque area. But this extremely nimble, light-shifting six-speed with its optional ABS-assisted 296mm single-disc brake up front doesn't just look a little bigger, it also feels a little more grown up. Pretty amazing when you consider its low seat height and comfortable riding position. But you don't have to take my word for it. Here's what Inside Motorcycles editor Colin Fraser had to say after a day of flogging the little 300 out on a racetrack. So Colin, this is the first real season for this motorcycle. Honda's chosen to launch it down here at Roebling Road. Essentially, we're looking at the CBR250, just a little bit bigger all round. Would that be a good description? Yeah, I, th I think that's fair. A slightly restyled, slightly bigger engine. Uh, has a lot of the good features that, that made the 250 such a good motorcycle. But it's interesting that what used to be a class that Honda was establishing, first with the 125, then with the 250, now with the new 300, this is now a division, you mm -hmm. know? This, this, this is not one manufacturer suggesting here's a destination and, and it's ironic for me because I grew up riding the only sport bikes were small displacement sport bikes and now because of insurance and all that it's come full circle and, and young people are heading towards these bikes because they can afford them. Yeah, so if we talk about the engine itself, Honda's added a little bit more displacement, a little more stroke if you will and as a result I feel it's got a little more mid-range and just a little more oomph. What was good with the old engine is better with this one. It's the same same characteristics, same performance, just a slightly improved, but enough that you notice. It's not it's not one of those things, well, it's a wash, I can't tell. And I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention ABS because right. it's getting to the point where almost everything has ABS. It's taken a very long time. Obviously, it's a safety thing. It's good for all riders. It's particularly good for new riders. So one of the strengths of the Honda package is the opportunity for ABS and I, for the amount of money it costs now for ABS absolutely you should get it and it's interesting when we race these in Canada the ABS bikes were preferred because the brakes are a little stronger right right yeah I was gonna say the braking is great the ABS is nice to have and and shifting it's probably one of the nicest shifting motorcycles out there right now yeah and, and it's uh, such an easy bike to shift you can shift both ways without the clutch which yeah. is quite unusual for a single uh, but overall it's what you'd expect from a Honda it's it's easy to handle there's nothing that surprises you you can pretty much get on it and constantly concentrate on your riding, which of course, you know, when you're riding hard is the goal. Right. Riding position itself, for me, I find it's, I'm getting a little sort of bent at the knee, a little more than I would like to, but other than that, I find the riding position quite comfortable and I'm six foot tall. Well, it's the trickiest thing in the world to try and build these group of motorcycles to fit everyone yeah. and, and obviously it's slightly more inclined to smaller in stature people but it's not bad and you look at the way they shape the seat and the and how the bike is through the flanks here it makes it a lot easier for a shorter person to deal with right. so I, I think it's a good compromise and of course in the racetrack you tend to be cramped up anyhow so it's uh, as, as far as a bike to ride on the track it's actually reasonably comfortable you know right. there certainly are a lot of 600 class sport bikes that aren't as comfortable as this 300. One of my standard questions used to be, what do you think of the fit and finish? And I, I quite frankly, I've stopped asking that <laughs> question because all bikes have come up in standard in terms of fit and finish, but for what it is, I, I think it's a beautifully finished bike. I think there are certainly bikes that are better than what we're seeing in this class, but if you at all factor in cost and value, they're fantastic and they're better now than they were a year ago. You know, yeah. there's, there's the competition is only going to get better and I think we'll see more features. And if I look forward, even with racing, I think eventually there will be a class for these sorts of bikes, you know, lightweight super sport or lightweight sport bike or whatever it's called, because there's so much interest. And of course, these bikes are getting to be far more common. Right. 
Is there anything about the bike that disappointed you today when you were out on the track? No, I, I think it would be nice if it if it breathed a little better at top RPM and a big fast track is not the kindest place for a small displacement bike. But compared to the old 250, it's better and you notice the difference. And I think if people have only ridden really big displacement bikes, they'd be shocked how much fun you can have on something like this, particularly if a couple of your friends have them too. <laughs> so who are we going to recommend the bike to? Uh, beginning riders, people who want a small displacement sports bike, I think it might be a second bike for some people. I, I think it's uh, more able than you might realize if you're only used to a bigger motorcycle. Yeah. And it's really, you get around town, it's going to be super economical and that is a consideration in terms sure. of mileage. So I, I think it's, uh, it's a really good time to be looking for a 300 class motorcycle. There's a lot of good bikes out there and uh, it's going to be really exciting to see where that class goes in the future. Okay, well, I understand there's still about a half hour left of track time, so we'll let you get back to it. Thank Thanks, you, Colin. Dave. Appreciate it. Nice job.